Hey, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're great. Um, hope you've been able to launch a couple of apps. You know, they're on the Play Store and you've been doing all right. Um, if you're watching for the first time or if you've not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscription button so that you'll be able to get a notification when I launch a new video. And also, it's good for the algorithm. You know, what better way can you support me by just giving me a subscribe? Um, so today we're going to be learning how to debug uh, a dialo application so if you if you're just getting started with a dialo go ahead and check out my other youtube video um you know a, a beginner's guide you know a complete be beginner's guide to dialo yeah it's in the youtube channel go ahead and check out the other videos you see that so you'll be grounded and you you know you just know how to build stuff with a dialo today like I said, I want to show you how to debug your dialer application. You ready? Let's get started with it. So this is an application I'm currently building. It's a it's an Instagram clone, and I'm going to be showing you how to build this in a in another video. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Uh, a couple of screens so you can do other stuff that you do on Instagram. Follow like I'm gonna gonna release the tutorial pretty soon. So I'm still working on it. So I just wanted to imagine that I want to debug this application. There are a couple of ways that you can do this in a dialogue. A couple of ways that you can do this. First thing first, the good thing about debugging with a dialogue is that a dialogue gives you the ability to preview when you click on the preview button. If something is not working for you, the first thing to do is to click on the preview button because a dialogue does not throw an error. It doesn't throw an error like... Um, like other no, like some other no code tools like tools like bubble that gives you an error it doesn't try an error so everything is still just gonna work but not totally not perfectly the way you want it to but it's not gonna work the way you envision it to work that's how that works that's how that behaves so the first thing to do is to click on the preview button that's the first thing to do you click on the preview button and then your app loads and once it does that you'll be able to see you'll be able to see exactly what you what you're building currently yeah you'll be able to see what you're building currently and if there's any error you'll be able to see it not see it here but you can test the functionality of your application like hey we're testing this functionality we'll be like oh i think this thing is not cool i think i don't like the way it is right now so I want to change it. Oh, I think if I click on the heart, I'm not sure if it's if it's counting properly. So I want to change it. That's one way you want to do it. And also, that look gives you the opportunity to check via different screens. So you can see we have iPad Pro. That's the default iPad Pro 13. So we have this one, iPad 13, 13 Pro Max. Uh, it's going to show you the way it will, it will, um, to show up in the in the iPad Pro, if you can see the difference, the iPad Pro is three ninety by eight eight four four. iPad 13 Pro Max is four twenty eight pixels pixel by nine twenty six. See, let's go back to the first one. So you could basically see it's not so much different, but here you can just test for different sizes. This is another size you can test for different size. This is another size slimmer phone. This is a Galaxy X twenty Note, and that's one thing that's one way you can do it and one thing that i always tell people i always tell students when they when you want to test with a dialogue test one thing at a time when you build test it for example if i'm testing this post bar if i'm testing this when you when 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 i create this and i'll be like oh i'm trying to click this and it's not really working what do i do i just go ahead and fix that only so test one thing at a time and as you build test it as you build test it don't wait to build uh, uh, 200 screens 100 screens before testing it's going to be very cumbersome it's going to be very very cumbersome so as you build just go ahead and test it as you build go ahead and test whatever you build that's the way you that's the way you're going to be that's going to the way you're going to launch good apps with a download if you wait to test everything then it's going to be too complex for you so that's one way to test it you test via the preview button see um 
creating the post. So for example, if I'm testing post post creation, I just go ahead to my desktop, to my um, I just go ahead and look for a post, uh, uh, look for an image. I put it here. So I'm putting the image there, and I'm gonna copy some Lerum Ipsium, you know, just some stuff. I'm going back here, and I'm putting it here. So I'm gonna go back here and copy it again. Going back here, I'm paste it. I'm gonna look for a picture again. So, um, so now um, create post. So if this post post was created successfully then I know like hey this thing is cool and now there's another trouble with this post in that the picture is not resizing properly you know the picture was big it's not resizing properly so when I figure this out what do I do I'll go back to my page go look for the screen this is the post this is the screen this is the screen that displays all the posts I'll go to the picture so the image, this is the image that is displaying the post. This is the image. The image is square. So I can make it portrait. I can make it landscape if I want to. And I can so if I say portrait or landscape, you see the way it works. You see the way it is. Landscape portrait. So I can go back and say, oh, let me preview how landscape will look like. If landscape is gonna be good for me. So now I'm previewing landscape. So you see the way the landscape works. Oh, I'm not sure if it's good. So I'll go back here again. I'll go back, click on my post. I'll go back to my, I'll go back to my, to my, to my, to my image style. I'll choose portrait. So then I want to preview again. I'll preview all over again. Oh, this is portrait. Mm, I think it's consuming too much space. Then now I want to go back again and change it to square. Let's see square again. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Square is nice. Oh, okay, square is good. Let Let's just go ahead and use the square since I think it's 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 awesome. And now you can see this image too. So now I have another trouble. This is another image, so I could go back again. Go back to the place where I'm displaying the post. This is it right here. This is where I'm displaying the post. Then I can think of oh crop image to free space show full image. So now if I go back again, then I'm, I'm what I'm doing right now. I'm just debugging the application. So I'm going back again. Now it's showing the full image. You can see the way it is. It's showing the full image just like so. That's the way you debug. That's one of the ways you debug. Another way is to click on the share button. Click on the share button here. It's going to look like you're really really running this app on your phone. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like, hey, you're running this app on your phone, and now you're doing everything that your app can do on your phone. That's what you're doing right now. That's just what you're doing right now. So I'm logging in like I'm going to log in on my phone. It's working like it's going to work on my phone. That's just what I'm doing. But the thing is, why this is very beautiful is that you can share this to your friends. You can share this to your friends and they will be able to use this application without installing it at all. This is called a progressive web application. That's what it's called. They will be able to set up a profile. They will be able to, you know, create all this stuff without installing anything or whatsoever. So that's another way. Yeah, they can use it and give you feedback. They can use it and give you feedback. All you have to do is click on the share button, copy it, send it to your friend, and they can use it properly and give you real-time feedback as to how you're doing it. Because when you're looking at your application sometimes, all by yourself, it doesn't just work out. It doesn't just work out very well. So what you want to do is that you want to, you want to allow other persons to look at the application before you say, hey, I've done something great. Then Todd, another thing you want to do, the, the other way to debug the application is to install it. Install it on your phone. That's number three. Install it on your phone and test it on your Android device. That's another way to do, to do so. Install the APK file on your phone. You can launch it on the Apple Play Store. Install it on your phone 
and um, test it real time. Those are the three ways you debug your 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 uh, your Adalo application, and you'll see that you'll be able to build awesome application. Don't forget, the first way is to use the preview. That's the first way. The second way is to share it with your friends, so they would so they will be able to use it, or you yourself you can use it yourself. And the third way is to install it on the um, app on the Android or the Apple Play Store, so you can use it. So you can use it on your phone before giving it to your users for them to use so that's it that's how to do it feel free to don't forget feel free to leave your comment and feel free to ask your questions be kind enough to subscribe and if you're looking for forward to if you look, need help with your download project feel free to contact me via the contact the contact uh, um, details below and i'll do well to reach out to you thank you so much have a lovely 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 download week